Well, guys, this is the last one. Unboxing, that is. Certainly not our last gear review. From now on, going forward, we're just gonna put a picture of what came out of the box up on the screen. We're just gonna do this to speed up the process, and that way I can still keep my whimsical content in the video and keep the video short. This guy's about as funny as a fart in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're looking at the Warm Audio Centavo. From Warm Audio. A whole bunch of stickers. This product was tested and approved by Thanos Wiley. Construction. This little styrofoam. It's a way to package the pedal. If you couldn't tell by its color and its design, it's an homage to that unattainable beast that was built back in 1994 to about 2009, I think the Klon Centaur. You may be asking, why are we taking a look at this copy of the Mythical Beast when there's so many out there, big and small? Well, first, it really kind of looks like what it's supposed to be replicating. So on your pedal board, you're definitely gonna get a second glance by a passing by guitarist. Secondly, it was offered at Best Buy and I had a whole bunch of rewards, so I couldn't pass it up. Contrary to what everybody believes, a channel this small does not make any money off of YouTube. So I used all of my Best Buy rewards just for you guys. So the Centavo has three knobs, gain, treble, and output. The gain really starts to break up around the 50% mark, and the treble, it gives that top end and helps out those humbuckers a bit. There's a mod switch on the back that extends the bass response, impacting the lower strings give more of that low end drive. Instead of doing the typical review where I put everything at noon and then move the knobs, they have actually four suggested settings and we're just gonna go through those right now. Gonna use a Marshall DSL 40 like we normally do with a Fender Strat. All right, let's do it. Clean for reference. Clean boost. of Marika. This is called Biting Edge.
This is called Hard Clipper. Well, I probably couldn't hide it on my face, but wow. I mean, I just love pedals in general, but whew. I very rarely, and I don't know why, people probably think I'm completely nuts. I barely ever use my bridge pickup. And that made me want to use my bridge pickup like all the time. Like I found a pedal that when I kick it on, I'm actually excited about using that bridge pickup. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this pedal. What Klon copy you're gassing for or are you using already? You've been an awesome audience, and as always, stay tuned. Hey.